Hi, this is Dr. Jack Allergy. You can follow me on my YouTube channel at Dr. Jack Allergy. Um, I have not posted a video in a little while and uh, it, I felt it was time to start updating uh, with newer videos. The questions that I get the most and the most video comments are regarding urticaria and hives. And so I wanted to focus on that today. What I wanted to talk about was uh, a couple things. Um, in my first video, I talked about causes. In the second video, I talked about uh, treatments and testing that can or might be done. In this video, I want to talk about um, just uh, the what I call my Z and Z therapy. But I wanted to talk about the taper. And I also wanted to talk about alternative medications that uh, people can use because uh, my recommendations uh, with Zyrtec and Zantac might not ring true for everybody. We're all different. So the first thing I want to talk about is going to be uh, alternatives. So typically, if you come to me as a patient, I will, depending on how significant or severe your symptoms are, will recommend Zyrtec, 10 milligrams, one tablet, morning and night, and Zantac, 10 milligrams, 150 milligrams, one tablet, morning and one tablet at night. Now, just want to show just a couple pictures. I'm not paid by any company and I'm not advocating to use any particular brand. I just want you to see the differences in these um, uh, antihistamines. So, this is cetirizine, also known as Zyrtec. An interesting thing that you will notice is it has a green cap, okay? The green cap is cetirizine or Zyrtec. This is Allegra or a generic name is Thexophenidine. Notice how it's purple, purple cap, purple uh, bottles. There's another medication called Xyzal, X-Y-Z-A-L, has an orange cap. And then the old standard is, a lot of people use this first, Claritin, which I'm not as big a fan of, or the generic is Loratadine. And as you see, it has a blue cap. So, there are many different medications available. All of these are in the same family as the non-sedating H1 uh, uh, antihistamine. Zizol, the one with the orange lid, is actually called levocetirazine. That's the generic name for it. So it has the exact same name as cetirizine or Zyrtec, other than it has a little bit of a chemical difference called levocetirazine. And so you can use that and substitute Zizol for cetirizine. The only difference that I uh, recommend to people when it comes to either cetirizine or Zyrtec or fexofenadine or Zizol or Allegra, any of them, is uh, the cost. If you can find it for a lower price at Sam's Club or Costco or Walmart or wherever, or if it's on sale, that's the one I would use. In terms of the most effective, Claritin tends to bind the histamine receptors, receptors the weakest. Then you move towards Allegra or Fexofenadine, the purple bottle. And then the strongest binding of the receptor is Cetirizine or Zyrtec or Levocetirizine. Okay, so any of those would work. So you can feel free to substitute if you only have loratadine or loratadine works for you to use loratadine 10 milligrams, one tablet twice a day. If Zizol is what's available and what works, five milligrams, one tablet twice a day. Same thing with Allegra or Fexofenadine. That would be 180 milligrams, one tablet twice a day. Okay, so. Now, those are the um, non-sedating, uh, well, non-sedating um, H1 antihistamines that we use. Now, there is also Zantac, okay? And I talk about that as part of my Z and Z therapy, Zantac, all right? The generic name for it is ranitidine. 
you will find ranitidine in the acid reducer aisle. So you can feel free to use Zyrtec, sorry, you can use Zantac uh, or ranitidine. I tend to recommend people using ranitidine. Now, one of the other medications that can be used, people do not always think about this, but it does the exact same thing. It is called Pepsid. I'm sure we've all possibly seen commercials on Pepsid. Its generic name is Famotidine, and you will find it right next to the Zantac or ranitidine in the acid reducer aisle. Now, the one reason why I have actually become a fan of the use of Pepsid, especially in kids, is one of the nice things is it comes in a chewable. That is a really, really nice uh, thing. You can use the famotidine or Pepsid and give the chi the, your child a chewable, as well as then the syrup for their Zyrtec or uh, Claritin, Allegra, any of those, okay? So that's uh, one important thing. So you can substitute Pepsid in place of Zantac, Famotidine, Ranitidine, any of those. Once again, it, the key is twice a day dosing. Now, I get a lot of questions asking me, okay, Dr. Jack, well, how long do I stay on these medications? Well, I can't answer that because we don't have a crystal ball, but the goal is as follows. Get your symptoms under control with the twice a day dosing or whatever dosing it takes. And then once you are hive free for two, two months, then we will start a taper. Now the way I do my taper is I do things slow because um, stopping the medications abruptly there's a huge rate and risk of a flare. Anybody who's pro possibly taken prednisone for this in the past and then stops it and all of a sudden after those few days, they're miserable again. So we go with a taper. Now the way I do it is, it is decreasing by one tablet every week. So you're doing Zyrtec twice a day, Zantac twice a day. So then you're gonna do for the week one taper, you're gonna take Zyrtec, and I even wrote this out so people can stop the video and copy this and write this down. Zyrtec, one tablet in the morning, and Zantac, one tablet in the morning. And then you're gonna do Zyrtec, one tablet in the evening, but stop the nighttime Zantac dose. So, for that first week after you've been high free for two months, you're gonna stop just the nighttime Zantac. After a week of doing this, you're still doing okay, no issues, you go to the week two taper. Week two is Zyrtec in the morning, Zyrtec at night, and you are stopping the Zantac dose, which will be the morning dose, okay? Week three, if things are going well, guess what? We then are going to, and I typically want you to try to stop the morning Zyrtec dose. And the reason I say that is because hives tend to be worse at nighttime. There's really no, it doesn't matter when you take it. You could take the Zyrtec in the morning, you could take the Zyrtec at night. It's not a big deal. As long as you're just going down by one tablet. And then of course, week four, stop all meds. So, what happens if you do week one, where you stop the nighttime Zantac, and now you head towards week two, which is stopping the morning Zantac as well, and all of a sudden you have a bit of a flare. What I tell people to go back to is the last dose that worked, which is the week one taper. Continue this for another week and see if you can back off again. I hope that the pictures and um, my printouts for the taper help so it gives you a little bit more information as to what I'm talking about when I tell people about a taper and so you can kind of uh, follow this along and like I said, feel free to substitute various medications for what I'm recommending. So if you don't have Zyrtec available but you have Allegra or Claritin or whatever, substitute that. This is Dr. Jack Allergy. I hope what I said helps. 
please feel free to subscribe to my channel and comments down below. I'm more than happy to answer questions. I try to do it as often as I can. Bye now.